Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Danganronpa. Um, I guess it's trial time. Let's go. Okay, so um, Regal mentioned that my audio Let's sounded muffled, with a basic and explanation of the class trial, and so, the your video has the results. a bit of an orange tint. Um, I think the reason why the audio was game audio sounded a little muffled was because I have, um, whatchamacallit, I have, I had 3D speakers, audio, audio speakers on to stream Final Fantasy 16, so I turned it off. The orange tint, I honestly have no idea how to fix that, um, because I'm, I checked my video settings on OBS, and I checked it with Streamlabs, the previous OBS I was using. Same exact color profile, same type of compression, so... So if it looks orange, sorry, don't know how to fix, fix that. Um, okay, how did this end? Uh, let's -a go. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of I have a feeling I'm gonna mess up a lot, but this one I know it's Leon. Okay, so. Man. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise why your is, hand. Why is his face moving like that? Oh, gosh. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? <laughs> Dude, Sayaka. What's going on Sayaka's with dead face. Those pictures. I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Sure. Friendship penetrates? Penetrates. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay. Okay, That weird. about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. Started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me, everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin, would you like to hear more? Absolutely. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to aim, then fire with the triangle button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the options button during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. I assert that the one who was murdered. Oh, pl oh was why is it shaking? Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Yo! No, that's wrong! That's wrong! Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room... I'm so glad this is all voiced. Thank the Lord. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? No, because the door was broken. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. You Sorry. shut your face. 
Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. There's no lawyers here. It's a debate, dude. We need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. Um, the knife. Oh, okay. I guess since this so is the first um, trial, they're making it really easy. There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. Oh, stop shaking. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. My eyes are itchy. No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. His hair I looks like corn. Sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, you don't so have to look real close. It clearly knife. is a kitchen knife. Where does that knife? get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Uh, see that sweat bead? He's lying. That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. Uh, it is. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? Your hair is insane. She's right, there's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. You can concentrate by holding down the R button. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge, and if this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. Aoi's account. What was Aoi's account? So I guess there's no question that the- Wait, um... No! What did Aoi say? I don't remember what she said! But where does that get us? Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? Oh, that the... He did it in secret, when nobody was in the dining hall. Oh, well, he was there. No, that's wrong. How are you supposed to remember what every single bullet says? Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there! But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone! So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah! Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the But then the wouldn't knife. she remember who was in the dining hall? Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? <laughs> oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? 
Uh, good grief. Enough already. No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case. So Marukuma already knows everything. So what's the point of getting us... Oh, wait. He said he wanted us to feel despair. Never mind. Oops. Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. And I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then... Well, who did take the knife? Hina seemed the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. Oh. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea! Did you guys see who walked into the dining hall? Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Ooh. I got so the two girls I like. For those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's Sakura's a girl. Unwholesome. But, I'm a girl. <laughs> you are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! But if it wasn't Rude. either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Because you guys kept accusing her! Well, because... They're not here anymore. Someone who's not here? Are you talking about... Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Sayaka? Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Sayaka. I got it! Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. Was she planning on killing me? When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? He did do it after all! What? No, you're wrong! So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Hmm. You possess a most Please stop with the portrait shaking, oh my goodness. If I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The trash? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin. Would you like to- What is happening? As things is advanced further into the class trial, the hangman's gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the left stick to aim, then press the triangle button to shoot the desired letters. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. If this gauge reaches zero, or if you run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. Something that should have been at the scene but wasn't, that must be the crucial point. If we can just figure out what that something is. <sighs> Air. 
Hi, ow, ow, er, er. Now I understand. Uh. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. But she's my friend. That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very You true. shut your mouth, very you're not contributing true. anything helpful. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? Why do you keep sweating? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then, Makoto isn't the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Me too. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah. Then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? <sighs> Why don't you just answer everything? The killer struggled getting into the bathroom. And the evidence that proves it is the object the killer broke. Um... The doorknob. Oh, presents. I got it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to for being a bunch lock, of high school ultimates, the or like super doorknob. high school level, not very smart. <laughs> this is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. Yo, why don't you just tell them the answer then and like? So what? You're saying you innocence. break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still you don't broke see? it yourself. Okay then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Toko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. What do you mean there's a bit more? From here on out, number of weak spots will start going up. No matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one liar contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone and your influence gauge will take damage. Now this is important because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun. Why so many mechanics? Bathroom door frame. The incident took place in Makoto's room. Saika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Saika had locked it. And finally, the culprit had Saika cornered. To finish the job, they stabbed her with the kitchen knife. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? I admit it. We already know the answer. I want to see what the thing was about bathroom door frame. It's not because the door was locked. There's a different reason. Oh yeah, because my bathroom, the boys' bathroom doors can't lock. Room. Can't lock. Saika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. 
and they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door because Sayaka had locked. Nope. I totally nope. forgot. Boys' room, fourth bathroom doors can't lock. Hey, I'm Natasha. How you doing? The Thanks for joining. The bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. Not. I want to hear Sawashiro. Sorry, I have it in English voices. Um, but question one: Does the game audio sound muffled? And two: Does the video look orange? After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes. Now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. That's what she said. Huh? You're what asking are you me. About? Yeah, like. Does it look weird or like does it sound okay? It sounds okay to me, but I'm also listening on headphones, so. My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Hearing is all the great first sounds like to me, then that's fine. I'll worry about it later. Thanks for checking though. Yep. True as true can be. But you know. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... <laughs> That's not lucky at all! So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even I think hear the door was own. locked in the first Voices. place? Did you change some settings? I changed on um, my PS5, I changed the audio settings to not be 3D speakers anymore. And I changed it back to stereo. I, it had to be 3D because of Final Fantasy 16. And then for video, it didn't change anything. Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. The killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, but they didn't know that the door actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime they didn't know was the crime took place in my room. The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable. And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door oh, that yeah. wasn't Nanoja, locked Oh yeah, how is... far did you get in 14? Did you get up to Heavensward? Are you allowed to play Heavensward? Definitely in the free something trial? I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Which Makoto would be everyone. Everyone didn't know it. we switched rooms. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up! Quit without saving! What? But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, then, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! No, that's dangerous, dude. Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have. I'm in Heaven's Word right now. Keep getting distracted to do MSQ. Nice. Oh, you. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm, yes. How did the killer get Yeah, because his room door was perfectly fine. It was Maybe only the bathroom Sayaka door that was messed up. just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? 
No, it's I not. I think so. That seems way too convenient. Because we switched room keys. Then maybe someone picked the lock? Negative. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. I don't remember him saying that, but okay. Fine. How about this? The killer. Free trial can be played up until Stormblood. Oh. I was planning to get most classes to 70 max level in free trial before getting the full game. Oh my gosh, that's insane. But I do know people who level up every single class. And I'm like, how do you have the time and the they energy to do that? I barely can level up one class. Something, and Ms. Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, Why not? Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. <sighs> Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Because she asked me to do something in particular because of how frightened she was. Oh, yeah. That's the answer right there. There's no way Sayaka let someone in because... Um... Uh... Mmm... Um, Cool kid switching. Uh, it's true. When the victim was discovered, my cousin was psychic. Her original answer was someone who said from her, and she became frightened. No, because sword was found on a sheath in the middle of sword of a part of the blade. Uh, if we're going to attack someone, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Toolkit was never used. Uh, room cleanliness? No. Um, Sayaka's wrist? No, she said- he said don't open the door. But, um... Uh... We're switched at some point. Um... What? Switching rooms? Traded rooms and room keys when the victim was discovered. Oh, yeah, they wouldn't know that we switched yes. rooms. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Thank you, for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through... I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie uh, about something like that? Just each main class's DPS tank healer. That's that's like all of them, dude. Because I think if we get the full game while playing the free trial, we'll have to pay for subscription because we'll be no longer limited. Oh, I see. I'm waiting to see if that's true. I have like five days left. <gasps> oh, dear. I know you don't want to consider it. But How many classes have you? Oh, wait, no, you're still getting to um, still deny the, possibility? the main story. There's something I want to talk to you about, just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Okay, wait. Uh, check the nameplate to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? Ooh. Oh, it's right there. I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. But I checked a note! And these are the words that appear. Oh man, I've totally seen people do that. Uh, no, uh, Dragon shows. TPS, uh, tank, gunbreaker, I need to find a good healer class. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. Everyone says that, um, white mage is the easiest. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap. I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched but rooms But Sayaka signed her name on it. So, Makoto, did you write this? N no, I didn't. But, of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Then that note. Sayaka wrote it? But, but why? Why would she write that? I'll go with White Mage, then Gunbreaker is really fun. Yeah, Gunbreaker! Fox, thank you so much for the virtual hugs! 
But I went with your suggestion. Heck yeah, Gunbreaker's fun. The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation... What up, Regal? How you doing? Thanks for joining! Exist. Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me! But can we be sure anyone even got this note? Yeah, cause someone got in. And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. What do you mean? Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? No. Very well then. Pay attention. Make your argument. Dorm nameplates. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yes. But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. No! That's wrong! Frick! Even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. Mm. It certainly would seem that way. Do I have to get it like directly in the middle? The killer went to my room instead of Sayaka's, and the reason for that is it has to be because of what got switched between Maya and Sayaka's room. Yeah, 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 I know what it is, but I just shot too late. But in the note, the place they were asked But in the note! It specifically says, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. No! No, that's wrong. Uh, my dream class is already level 70, and then I saw 2 million XP. I was like, nope, let's try a new class now. The Dang. I think in the full game, switched. 2 million XP won't be much of a problem. I don't know. Um, in as level 70, that's a lot of experience. But like me, I'm like 83 or something. I guess that might get, get me like a little close to halfway to the next level. I should try this game someday. It looks fun. It's pretty interesting so far, but then again, this is only the first trial, so like everything's super easy, and I know who the killer is. <laughs> so they got switched. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the actually. Rooms I hope I know who the killer is. Seems obvious. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name, and the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. How do you know who the killer is? <laughs> There was one point so where they went to in, examine the, the body, was staying in, and there was some writing on the wall, and I was like, oh, okay, it's that person. <laughs> level 80, whoa, how many classes do you have high level on? That's it, just Bard. Bard is highest at level 83, and then Gunbreaker's at like 63, 64, and then White Mage at 32. Then... If someone did do the what killer's the killer's always said, the butler. <laughs> they would end up in Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. Wow, that guy's eyes are insane. And the one who switched the names. Why was... is he so mad? Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? Okay, then who did it? There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only other person who knew we had switched rooms. Sayaka. I got it. What's colder than dry ice? The only I'll tell ones you. Who ever knew Oksana. about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates was Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her note. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two in five minutes. Come see me in my room. Check the nameplates. Make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? What? Well, yeah, what's the point of switching rooms? If you're gonna switch the nameplates too? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in. And also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? But why? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switch Because then... Why would anyone do that? 
if she did kill someone in Makoto's room and then in the morning they switched, was her plan to then be like, oh, hey everyone, Makoto killed someone. But then why would she want to frame him? They're friends. To understand that. I don't understand this. I guess it's fine then. I'll skip healer and just focus on two classes for now. We first need to understand Your what dub is 10 out of 10. Invited the person into the room. <laughs> Thank you. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot. Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Someone is sweating a lot. <laughs> Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Oh yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. But then... You didn't take it when you switched to- It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. Is there a way to use some skills from a different class on the current class? Um, no. Back in the day, like, years ago, you, possibly know that's what you had to, like, level up certain classes to be able to use certain skills from them in your main job. So I have, like, Lancer level 8 because there was, like, a, a healing um, skill or something. But then in another patch, they're just like, you know what, just stay as your class forever. You don't have to level up other classes. No point trying to level so many classes. Yeah, they don't um, carry skills. The reason I know Sayaka's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt. Um, wait, uh, uh sheath of sounds of a scratch with a sharp object. You're going to attack someone. So, so, so no. Um, was it a replica sword? Uh, sword was found as sheath in the middle. The sword handle was missing. Some part of gold kind of as a. Wait, or do we do her wrist? Yeah, there's gold. There's something glittery. I got it. What's that? All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it the should trace? become yeah. pretty clear. I think that's what's called. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's Sephiroth. No. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen. Do, 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 there's something do, do, glittery do, do, there. Do, do, See? Do, do, do. Is, is that gold? It sure is. Specifically. The gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's it's some the on her wrist of because... art supplies. I got it! Because she got hit with the sword right there on her wrist! Either the sword or the sheath. I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. Alright, then it's about time to solve this mystery. What do you mean? We still don't know who it was. What happened in my room? And what led to Sayaka's death, that's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about nonstop. What do you mean? Are you getting used to these nonstop debates? Starting with the next debate, I'll start loading multiple truth bullets into your truth cylinder. But just like with weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. In other words, from here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. If you come up with the wrong combination, you'll take damage to your influence gauge. You can press the L1 button to rotate the cylinder and choose which bullet to fire. Press and release the L1 button to cycle through each- Okay, so cycle, aim, shoot, slow down, okay. Or you can hold that the L1 button, then use the left stick to select a specific bullet. By the way, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. For our purposes this time, the logic difficulty will be set to mean! Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh boy. That's the Masamune, or frog. It is! By the way, I bought Metaphor last week. <gasps> Did you start it? I haven't started it yet. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword-based sneak attack. 
And that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. But then the culprit took that from her too. And they killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. What? <laughs> what? If the person with the sword really did attack first, there's no explanation for how a certain part of the sword got damaged. What? When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. No, um. And that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. But then the culprit took that from her too. And they killed her with it. Okay, so it's and that's exactly what happened. It's this guy, Yasuhiro's statement. I need to. <sighs> what part of the sword got damaged? Only the sheath got damaged. When the okay, so it's the sheath. Out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Am I right? Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Huh? Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. I hope I don't have the regular um, game logic difficulty set to mean. That was kind of confusing. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with How are you supposed sharp? to remember what all these clues had? Something sharp? <gasps> you mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. Yes, please explain it to me too. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. Okay, so the person came in. Sayaka tried to attack them with the kitchen knife. They saw the replica sword and used it to block. And then they probably took the sword out and then... Attack Sayaka with the so sword? you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife. Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. No, she attacked them with the knife. So they she took grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her, too! No. Then, after they broke her wrist with a the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. Yeah. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body her hands. that clear. Part of the body shows she never used a sword. If you want to use a sword, which part of your body would have to touch it? Her palms. Palm sweaty. About Arm palms, spaghetti. Right? The palms Mom of spaghetti. Her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. Just her wrist had the gold. How can you know that just by looking at her uh, palms? I did Google some Final Fantasy 14 server too. The recommended server seems a good place because of extra experience rewards. Oh, I didn't know about that. I'm scared to switch server because I don't really understand how it works. It's mostly just um, which data center is closest to your location so that you get, you know, better connection and speed. And you get more players in that time zone to play with. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else. I did, but now I have no time to play it. Oh no, why not? I'm actually thinking of starting to um, put stream metaphor also because... I feel like there's gonna be a lot of off-screen grinding that I have to do, so like might as well stream story parts while I can. And then play Dongan also, so. Yee. 
I don't really understand how it works, but there's some penalty. Is there not? I don't think so. I think I tried to change... No. Is that an 11? In Final Fantasy 11, I changed servers. But I feel like I couldn't just play for a day because they were moving my character. But yeah. Some features get locked from your previous server? I don't... Never heard of that happening. Work, work, and more work. Ew. I hope you get some rest soon. Or like a lighter period in your work. Boo. Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Then she would have washed it on her wrist too. Sorry, but I don't think so. Oh, no wait, the water gets turned off at nighttime. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? What? No, that's not it at all. We said nothing about your appearance. There's no way Sayaka washed the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about what happens to the bathrooms at nighttime. The water was off. I got She's afraid of water. According to the Monokuma file, you're working Sayaka's right now. Time what time is it in your area? AM. What the heck? Come on, please. These insecurities. Yeah, I have a feeling she might be one of the next like couple of victims because she seems very insecure, and so she seems like a weak and easy target. In other words, at nighttime, and the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower here yet. Whoa. Oh my! <laughs> He's right next to her. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. Wow, I would have loved to hear Sawashido say this line. Hmm? You have I'm no idea sure about her yet. That is an insult or a compliment. Is that a good thing? Bad thing? What? An insult, obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was... Sayaka! The one who damaged the sheath would have had to been the one without the sword. I got it! Got it! Sayaka? She had the I work at night. Knife? I know it sucks. <gasps> Yo, damn, that's tough. We, but we hopefully, you get like nighttime with... um, pay, so you earn a little bit more. But dang, that sucks, dude. The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. And the one who attacked first was Sayaka. Now, do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Oh, that's why she did it. She wanted to do a murder, have it blamed on Makoto, have everyone blame Makoto, and then everyone think it was Makoto, so they vote for him, and then if they guess wrong, she would get off scot-free. That's why she did it. What? She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. She's crazy. She just seems a little annoyed. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Nakoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. Yeah. That is a possibility, is it not? Not. Sayaka wanted to... on me? That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. Makoto? But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. But then again, that still raises an issue of in the morning when they switch back. 
Oh no, I guess they could have- she could have just- After she committed the murder, she could have just switched the nameplates. They would just leave, and she'd be like, let's go eat breakfast, so that they wouldn't even have to like, switch rooms again. And then everyone would be like, yo, guess what we found? A dead body. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Plus, she was the ultimate pop She sensation. played him like a fool. A totally forgettable kid, or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? You have tiny hands. Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. What? Yeah, she shouldn't have picked such a athletic person Just hold on. to kill. That can't be true. Imagine trying to kill the main character. What's wrong with tiny hands? I, it just seems so like, like, awkward. It's too tiny. Because, because, hey, hey, you guys have totally derailed the argument. You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we- He's too laid back, he's gonna- Okay, predictions on who I think is going to die. Him? Uh, tiny hands girl? Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate um, on figuring out the answer- Maybe to that mystery. guy, the armadillo corn hair? If we can't uncover uh, who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. That's three. That's three victims, so then there will be three killers, that's six. 15, 14, 13, 6, 7. How many people- how many trials are there? Uh, I don't think anyone would try to kill Sakura, she's so intimidating. Was it Sakura? No. Is- is it really all over? Oh yeah, that guy! Yeah, fit guy's gonna- okay, so it's four victims, four killers. But who would kill them? I can't think of anyone killing them. No. Obviously I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. Dying message. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues. There right? are! No, that's wrong. I should have waited to hear the whole statement before I did that. Ooh, I'm there's jumping the gun. one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, and this seven. is why Written I think it life. is a certain person. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yes, because she has blood on her fingerprint. I mean, finger. There's no question that Sayaka wrote that message, and I can prove it. Left index finger. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. On her left side. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? Look one, at it upside one, down. Zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not. Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. 
Someone's name. What? What? No, it's just. Look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? It spells out boobies. Ah, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one one. But looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa! You might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> Our little gray cells are really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. It's no use. I just don't know. Rotate the image 180 degrees. If you know all the answers, Kyoko, then why don't you just run the show? Huh? Rotate it? I, th I think maybe... Maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right on to who did it. So, who, whose name did she write? And you all not read? Sayaka's dying message reveals the real killer's name. If you turn her message 180 degrees, it should become crystal clear. Thank goodness they have their names on their face. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. Yes, you guys have already said that. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L-E-O-N. L-E-O-N. But then why would that middle Leo. line um, on the end get erased? What? What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look she at it, wrote it standing pretty in front freaking of her, big. It ends up getting flipped. <gasps> Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Th that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. Then why are you sweating? I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? The hair? Evidence that Leon tried to get rid of is... That thing I found in the ground from the incinerator. The burnt shirt piece? I mean, doesn't have blood on it. I got it! You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on no, the they ground read by right. the incinerator, right? Japanese. Yeah, why would it be in English? I wonder what the original um letters were in Japanese. Give up, Leon. No, he must live. As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? What? 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 Woo, 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 that woo, is woo, one woo. scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty. Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right. There are plenty that of other everyone people here with Show like us your sleeves. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right it here. It can't be Sakura. Yeah. Her sleeves was- so. She doesn't have sleeves. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. When it was disposed- It was in the trash, so there- When it was disposed of, it had to be in the night, so how? 
Yeah, because only the person on cleaning duty was able to access the incinerator. If we look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should it was still be the same in Japanese. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? Why do you look so mad, dude? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of That's the trash, a lot of information right? that you know, dude. I don't think everyone knows about the cleaning duty stuff. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. Huh? How? Oh. oh. Oh, no. He threw the crystal ball like a baseball. No. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? <laughs> trash. And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to- No! No, that's wrong. I really should read all of the statements before I do it. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose ah. of the evidence without using the trash uh, room key. What made this harder in Japan was that they would focus on the numbers instead of making translate into English obvious to us, but uh, harder for them. Also, but this game on hard. No, 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 no. I'm not, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm smart enough for hard mode. But if you can't get past the gate, am I on easy mode? Turn on the incinerator, could you? I thought it was just like that because this is the first um, trial, but. Yes, you could. Maybe I'm on easy. If you use this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but uh But how would you use it? Wait, can I switch to settings right now? No, I can't. The killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way, which was throw it. I got it. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that... through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Cause he is the ultimate baseball star. Ah, someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange, I'm not quite certain it was off the last time I was down here! Perhaps it was the work of a fairy! Hifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. This is all like crazy conjecture the though, isn't it? Broken glass, it? The incinerator left running the piece of shirt that escaped the fire if the killer had been on cleaning duty the evidence would have been taken no i guess you're right there's too thoroughly. many there's too many stuff lying around wait, wait no just hold on but the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet right the pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small could someone really do that? The ultimate baseball prodigy! That, that's right! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... It wouldn't have been much of a challenge, though, for because it is... Baseball star! Ooh, baseball star, it. not baseball prodigy. Whoops. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball got star! got it! Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not Man, this really sucks for him because what if he really didn't want to kill anyone but Sayako was just like, haha, I'm going to kill you and he was just doing it in self-defense. Oh man. This goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay then. Makoto, 
Go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly Why clear. don't you just say it? And with Kyoko? That, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. The closing argument is about to begin. What is... <laughs> Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll be give, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in order to form a comic book. However, you'll notice that in the comic there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the X button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Well then, good luck and have fun. In a missing section and press X. Um. Uh one? Uh No. Uh No, they would attack her and then drop the knife. Uh Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This would be there. Because they would defend themselves. Get hit. We drop the knife. Wait, that's the same exact picture. Never mind. Um. Uh. What? Uh, clean it all. Uh. Wipe it off. Oh, okay. So this ball goes there. Oh, there's more! Ah, oh. did not know. Did not know. That is a crazy face. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Wait, no, it would be blocking. And then. And then she'd be like, oh no, they have a knife. Oh ho! Uh huh. Uh. They block it. They smack her. He takes out the sword. She runs away. It's locked. Um. Oh! He uses a screwdriver, he opens the door, he has a crazy face. He's like, oh no, she gets stabbed. Uh... He writes... Leon, she's like, ha, and he's like, ha, and she's like, hey, he's like, ooh. And then, um... Toss the shirt in. And he's like, Hey. But lo and behold, that rips off. Reenact. That's exactly what happened. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. <gasps> That's such a cute emote. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell. Sayaka invited that person there, intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. 
Oh, I guess she couldn't run towards the front door because maybe what that's where that Leon was. Because I was like, can't you just run into the hallway and, and be like, hey? Sayaka knew about that because I told her. But of course, the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer dun, dun. forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with well, I guess at that point, remained, if she's hiding Sayaka in the bathroom, dying Leon could have run away to be like, Yo, she attacked me! And like, wake everyone up and be like, Yo. To keep the killer from noticing, she broke the she pact. Wrote it on the wall behind her. She left her room during nighttime. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. Can't you just wash your shirt? Oh, if water doesn't run at nighttime, then water probably doesn't run to the laundry room too. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, That'd be an impossible throw, but the killer had the confidence to take a shot, and that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Okay, even if you're the ultimate baseball star, you can't throw Having a shirt like that evidence, it's too light with, it wouldn't make it to the incinerator of relief but there was one thing they missed part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator the killer didn't notice this and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence Okay, but are we gonna ask to- oh my gosh. Are we going to ask to check Leon's shirt? Leon? No, his shirt got hurt. Anyways, it was the writing on the wall. That, hero that proved it was him. Body's crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? It still sucks for him, though. Do like, I object? Hell he was yes, forced I to object. do it. Of course I do. I object. I object. I object. Ikiyari. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit. I mean, it's bullshit, and I refuse yeah, to Yeah, we don't have like it. super concrete evidence, but again, this is all based on voting. If we all vote for Leon, that's just it for him. Well then. I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. What do you mean? I have the evidence? The first bullet time battle is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? There's more to learn. <sighs> Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent will simply... Your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTB, BTW. During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Press the X button to lock onto an opponent's statement. Destroy the statement you've locked onto with the triangle button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Then how am I supposed to... 
so for the tempo, I'm constantly hitting triangle, and then I press X. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going up, you'll in initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get into a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for hitting each button. So watch out for that. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot statement will appear. At that point, you press the triangle button to shoot it down the truth bullet like any other statement. Refute their statement fast enough and you'll come out victorious. Just like before, if your influence gauge reaches zero or if you run out of ta time, you fail. Well then, good luck. Uh. When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. They used something of their own to remove the screws. Could it have been? I refuse to acknowledge That's why he didn't use stupid, my toolkit because he stupid, thought it was Sayaka's stupid, room. Stupid. I would only have a sewing kit. Stupid! 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 I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. Okay. This should prove it. Oh, he's crying. Okay, I think I get how the the rhythm game works. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They then they had to bring one of their own. Room. Only the boys got toolkits. So the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! stupid. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then... Stupid, 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 stupid. The screwdriver will oh. show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when Mister, you have been no what. help to this trial. And let me he say swoops in at the now. end to be like, ho ho. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Oh my gosh. So, you have no rebuttal? But. Then it would seem. We are finished here. Oh, that... that's really creepy. <gasps> Where did I mess up points? 70 coins? <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get Why did they cut to Kyoko? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be?
I mean, we're all gonna vote for her. Yeah. Give me all those Monokuma coins. I wanna buy all the gachas. Ah, <laughs> oh, no more voice acting. Uh-oh, looks like you got it right on the money. The blackened in this case, the one that killed Sayaka. Was none other than Liam Kuwata. Huh? Hey, hold on. Hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I I didn't have a choice. It was kill or be killed. So that's why I killed her first. None of you are any different. One wrong step and you'd be the one standing here. It was complete chance that I wound up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Yeah, that does suck. Hey, come on! You expect me to just accept my death? Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd better I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. No, then you'd all be dead. Because of what we came up with really is the truth. And that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't have... You had your own video with your family. These are her friends? You had your family. I can't even imagine. You were trapped here with the real. They're probably waiting for me. Why? Can't afford to be Why? stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. Those are two things. You have to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I... Hey, whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said, Stop with no the flashing, please. Happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy, howdy! The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she's descended into pure madness. What did you say? Phew. I understand. Really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... That's enough. You don't want to hurt him. He'll kill you. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Now then, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kuwata will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean execution? Oh, that face. Wait a second. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self defense. Is that okay? How exactly was it self defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing. 
But you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So No, that's, that's why... not Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? I can't say Liana is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. Huh? It's a what? If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Uh oh, did you awaken to your, to your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up! Hmm. Okay, well anyway, more importantly... Thrills, chills, kill! Let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for. The punishment! I'm begging you! Please, don't do this! Hey! No more Come begging! No more excuses! You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules! Society demands it! Stop! Please! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I hate that voice you gave her. Oh no! I only, um... Do that high-pitched voice for, uh, flashbacks. No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! I mean, it sucks that she targeted you, but you really could've stopped it. <sighs> oh my gosh! He's tracking him away! With a leash. Oh my gosh. Uh, how are his pants miraculously still on? <laughs> And 1,000 blows? Oh! Oh my... Oh my gosh. I was- I was gonna be like, good thing they missed his face. And at least he had his, like, arms kind of covering his torso, so it didn't hit his ribs directly, but... Oh, oh... I wish I was watching a thousand blows. I... I know! He's so dead. He is... What we saw... That was the true face of despair. <laughs> I like how everyone's freaking out, but, um... Rich dude, Sakura, and Kyoko are just like, Yep! <laughs> I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control! <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. Hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> Damn you! Why the ever are you doing all this evil to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. 
Say what? Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret so society type of bear. Well, so why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? He sounds too similar to Monocle Man. I'm gonna have to change his voice. Hey, I hope he's um... the next victim. <laughs> it seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. Feels like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. <sighs> Shit. Dude, I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound you to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You are to blame. <laughs> of course we can't cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. <laughs> You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of the school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Hey, man, get to the black That's what I was waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Every high fist VA must die. <laughs> yeah, it hurts my throat, man. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. Whoa, he's crying. Everyone get a turn! No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. It's free real estate. <laughs> Before we head back, there's something I want you to I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool, becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double-cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought is how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway... She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Was I really friends with Leon? Leave friends with Sayaka? Correct. Without someone like that, the other was would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. 
That's Sayaka alive in him! Uh. Emotions are prohibited. <sighs> Three... Dang. Oh yeah, there's always the possibility that more than one student can die. Got an item. Despair bat. What's the point of getting a bat? <laughs> one is the loneliest number. Should I start? Chapter 2? I might as well. Many things can I examine? Is my dad bathroom door fixed? <gasps> it's clean! It's gone! She really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. Junko, that's her name. I was like, fashion girl. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. I slightly remember that I think I played this game. I can't check the trophies through PS5 because it doesn't show PS3 games or PSP games. No way, it doesn't? That's lame. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go get you and drag you back here! Sorry. Hmm. So, hmm. what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Thanks. Hey, come on! That's effed up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happens. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there, with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up! Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track! Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? I need him to go too because I can't do his voice well. <laughs> we were already working together and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then... Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no What? No what? I... I can't take it. I don't want to live. If it means killing someone else to do it. See, I feel like she needs to stay alive because, like, there's all those cameras and, like, computer stuff. So we're gonna need her programming skills. So I feel like her, um, Kyoko, for sure. Um, I want Aoi to stay alive. Obviously, Makoto. And, um... Uh, who else is left? Did I just 
list mostly girls. Aoi, Chihiro, Sakura, Yoko, Mako. Okay. So, if another boy had to live, um, big hair guy's gonna die. I feel like Mondo's gonna be die. Uh, big guy gonna die. Um, Taka? No. Taka seems. Doesn't seem like he's the brightest of them, so he might. He might, um, get killed. Maybe Byakuya, but I don't. Uh, I don't want to do his voice. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because. Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But. So, if we um... hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. He's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Matakuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Uh, that Byakuya guy gives me a similar vibe as Light Yagami. But Light was actually smart and he was cool. Um, Byakuya, the rich kid, he's just like, I'm a study rich kid. Oh, <laughs> all of you are so dumb, but I'm not that much smarter than you anyway. I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially... Yeah, nighttime. I feel like he might stay alive because we need one annoying character to continuously bug us. And we're just like, I need you Soon, the to, to the go away. And, entry and then maybe he'll eat it at the last minute? Prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. What are you talking about? Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bug bite. What was about it just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happens? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of earth, who does he think he is? And so, the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. It's only just begun. What? Boy's life of despair. Oh, are they the next? I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement, and he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, <gasps> lift your arms Radio up and down. One, two, three, four. Boo -dee -boo. Ow. One, two, three, four. He's gonna die. <laughs> now reach way up. And bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? 
Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry! Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist! Passed down from generation to generation to the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours! Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey! Of um... course not! You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? Whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very so nice. go ahead. Look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. So, did more facilities open up? With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than what he'd shown up. But... A new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know until we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it. More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. He's... He's the next victim. Sorry, my guy. I'm just examining to see... Are they always watching us? Don't they ever get tired of it? It took everything I had to just even think about mocking them. I guess there's nothing really to examine, so I'll get out of here. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna go to the gacha machine. Oh, no, never mind. I'm talking to him. What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious? That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? <sighs> Ew. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Winning championships and stuff probably came naturally to anyone going to school here. Okay, so the victim's either gonna be him or Taka. That's what I think. Leave the area. Whew. Um. Hey, Taka! Got it. Makoto, look! The gate block of the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I leave the school to you. Why don't you also an examine, dude? Nurse's office. I think the school store was here. Yeah. I should look around the school. No! I need to find out what Monokuma meant by a new world. Uh, map was through. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me also. Oh wait, how do I change my um? How do I? Wait, handbook. Okay, um, map. Uh, how do I go to second floor? Gym first floor, host peak first floor, gym floor. Damn it, they're really making me take the stairs. Okay, fine. Uh, ba 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 ba. Ah! Ah! The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Our rooms. This is the second floor to school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Ah! Have we not been here? 
Oh wait, um, system options. Uh, I said no to movement. No. Um, critical speed. Transcript. How? Do, I don't know how to change to um, harder puzzle difficulty. Wait, let me try something. Let me save here. Return to main menu. Yeah. Ah, uh, oop, not extras. No, 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 no. Options. <gasps> I can't change the the puzzle difficulty. So unless I redo the whole first chapter, uh, it's gonna stay the easy difficulty. Oh no! I don't think I picked easy difficulty, or did I? Um... Oh, this is a total different area. There's like a library. Oh, people. Oh gosh, I don't want to talk to you all. Let's see, there's Monokuma coins. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written in there. From the Host Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Host Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure has been solved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are waiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have been happened it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely. The mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If, if the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue, on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. Though in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. The Mastermind's motive, if we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Man, my throat's getting tired, um... Shelves! It's dusty! Uh, are there seriously no coins? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, coin! I have 72! I forgot how to look right. Uh, okay, L1 and then R1. Oh, they're saying I can't go anymore. Um, 
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Oops. I'm just gonna save this here because this is the start of a new um, chapter. And that was a lot of stuff I read. Did I save? Yeah, cool. Okay. Well, got to the first trial. Hopefully the next um, trials, even though I'm on easy... Oh, excuse me. Easy mode won't be super easy. But, like, sometimes their logic is weird and I'm like, I don't know if this is what you're talking about. So it still might give me trouble. But, yeah. Taking a break tomorrow because my throat hurts and I want to give it a chance to rest. So, yay! Thank, thank you so all for watching. And thanks for chatting with me. This was fun. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a good night, everybody. Bye!